get into it. How are you today? I'm doing good. What have you been up to lately? Uh, just trying to create artwork. Nice. <laughs> What's usually the first thing you think about when you wake up? Uh, how soon can I get to the studio? How long have you been a professional artist? Uh, whew, since 2006, so 15 years. Am I interrupting anything? Are you working on anything? Uh, I probably should be, but um, I'm contemplating my next move. How how long have you been teaching art? Um, since uh, 2009. Would you rather be an inspiration, the artist, or the art? Definitely the artist. Where were you born? Sacramento, California. What city do you live in now? Uh, Oakland, California. What do you love about the Bay Area? Oh, boy. I love the diversity and uh, the opportunity. Where is your studio located these days? Uh, Richmond, California. How many siblings do you have? Three siblings. Are you all creative? Uh, <laughs> no, at least not, not uh, demonstratively. <laughs> What kind of art did your parents have around the house when you were growing up? Uh, they always had art, and uh, I can remember a print of Van Gogh. Uh, my mother always had black art in the house. How would you describe your art? Um, ooh, uh, spontaneity and, uh, and chaos all at one time, like riding a wave. What have you been up to lately? Like, how are you surviving this pandemic? Uh, well, I, I'm kind of, I can't say I'm excited about the pandemic, but it's been exciting with all the new opportunities. Um, difficult circumstances call for new ideas for artists, and that's where we thrive. When you're making art, what weird combinations do you really enjoy? Uh, creating a piece of artwork with some pickle juice and hot sauce. Do you feel most creative in the morning or night? Definitely in the night. How do you describe your music playlist when you are in a creative mode? Uh, strictly James Brown, Johnny Guitar Watson, nothing but the funk. Would you rather have a rewind button or a pause button? Definitely pause. What social stigma does society need to get over? Racism. What's the best advice you've ever received? Ooh, the best advice I've ever that's a good one. Uh, find your people and surround yourself with them. What TV shows and which movies on the big screen would you say we would recognize your work of art in? Um, I'm going to say probably Horror Bosses, Social Network, it's about Facebook, uh, and uh, The Avengers. <laughs> Is there something you haven't made yet that you would really like to tap into one day? Uh, I have always thought that I wanted to do sculpture, um, um, but it may be jewelry, but I can't think of jewelry as sculpture, but I like the sensation of, of full-scale sculpture. Do you have a dream that you haven't yet achieved? I can't say that I have. This is kind of a dream all in itself, uh, living as an artist. Uh, what is something you resent paying for? Internet. <laughs> Do you think aliens exist? No, I don't. <laughs> what would a world populated with clones of you be like? <laughs> uh, I think a really intense, uh, loyal, but hardworking uh, people. What's your favorite word? Shit. If you could change one thing about the Bay Area, what would it be? I like to say traffic, but if I change the traffic, we'd probably change the population. I like the crowdedness of the Bay Area. What are you currently worried about? Yeah, I don't worry about too many things. Um, yeah, it's not good for you. What so, are you currently happy about? Uh, the fact that I get to wake up and live my life as an artist and meet wonderful people. Where do you get your news? Um, mostly from probably the internet or CNN. What's your most favorite genre of art? Uh, uh, modern abstract. If you hadn't become a professional artist, what do you think you would have done? I would have been an entrepreneur or a basketball coach. Would you rather live in a world without art or music? Music. What movie can you watch over and over without getting tired of? Patton. Who would you want to play you in a movie? 
Uh, I'd love to say Sidney Portier for his intensity, but I'd probably uh, force Whitaker. Who is your favorite visual artist and why? Uh, Richard Mayhew because of his uh, use of color and his uh, definition, definition and explanation of creativity. Describe your personality. Um, my personality. Uh, fun, uh, lightly intense. That's about it. Describe your art style. Um, boy, um, scientific, um, uh, spontaneous, uh, light on the rules, and um, um, probably had his art. Uh, scientific. What kind of friend are you? Uh, loyal, uh, if we're close. I'm loyal. I'm a good friend. <laughs> what kind of teacher are you? Uh, I like to say I'm, a, I'm told that I'm a good teacher, but with, uh, in respect to all teachers, I'm going to say I'm just a good teacher, not a great teacher. What kind of dad are you? Uh, well, you probably have to ask my kids that, but I think I'm a great dad. Um, I love being a dad. Describe your mom in three words. Um, wisest person I know. That's four. <laughs> Describe, Describe your family in three words. Um, committed, loving, and, um, and dependable. Who is your go-to person when you need a laugh? Uh, my friend Kelvin Curry. What are you currently reading? Uh, the Color and Patination of Metal. <laughs> Who is your favorite Instagram that you follow? Uh, James Moore, an artist down in San Jose, a sculptor. Do you have a favorite song these days? Um, favorite song? Well, I just got to listen to uh, uh, Get Your Freak On, Missy Elliott, and I couldn't get it out of my head for the last two days. <laughs> nice. Do you have a hidden talent? I don't think I have a hidden talent. Um, no. <laughs> Where is your happy place? Um, right here in my studio. What's one thing about you that surprises people? Um, that I love musicals. What are you excited about coming up in 2021? Um, all the things I learned in 2020 uh, in the pandemic. Uh, and putting those, implementing all those new ideas. Let, what advice would you give your 18-year-old self? Uh, invest, invest your money. Hey, Stephen, what is art to you? Mm. Art to me is uh, creativity and um, um, and storytelling. Where's the most beautiful place you've traveled to? I haven't been a lot of places, um, but I always kind of go back to either the Pacific Northwest um, um, or uh, the Sonoma Coast. What is something you know about art that no one else knows? Ooh, I, don't know I don't know if there's anything that I know that nobody else knows other than that you, could, you don't have to be a starving artist. What's your must-have beauty secret before a big art show? Uh, a little dab of cold water behind the ears. Can you speak any other languages? And if so, can you say something for us? Uh, yo hablo espanol. <laughs> <laughs> what frightens you? What's your biggest fear? Living too long um, in poor health. If artists were allowed a victory dance after each piece they sold, what would you do? <laughs> The Elmo Wright Shuffle. And you have to Google the Elmo Wright Shuffle. You don't want to show me? <laughs> no, <I'm not> sure. <laughs> Google, what is it? The Elmo Wright Shuffle. <laughs> what is the best part about being a professional artist? Uh, working when you want to work, waking up when you want to wake up, and being your own boss. What is the hardest part? The business aspect of, 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 of supporting yourself as an artist. So the things that uh, you don't do in the studio, uh, follow-ups, communication, um, those are the things that uh, are the challenges. What are the most rewarding? Uh, meeting people and having the relationships that you create 
through your art. Um, creating artwork is a beautiful thing. Uh, having uh, friendships and relationships that are born out of that are even uh, more phenomenal. What would you like to be remembered for? Uh, just being a, uh, somebody who was uh, willing to share, uh, will, just willing to share what he knows and inspire other people. What is the hardest thing about being a dad? Um, watching your kids struggle with poor decisions. What is the best thing? Uh, just watching your kids experience life and, uh, at every different level. If you had to, would you rather give up making art or giving up teaching art? I give up teaching art. Thank you for being such an amazing influence and art mentor in the community. You are definitely a Bay Area legend, and I appreciate your time today. Is there anything else you want to say before we wrap up? Follow me on Instagram at Stephen B Studios, or you can also follow me at The Skidmore Project on Instagram. Thank you so much for your time today.